Well, that's the last of my Halloween candy. All that sugar, all those cavities. We're the real winners, guys. Are you coming over Saturday? For what? For what? The Leonid meteor shower. Only once in a lifetime do the mighty Leonids reveal their full beauty before bedtime. I wish I could, guys, but Francis is coming home this weekend. And since he missed Halloween last week, we're gonna hang out together. Are you sure? Stevie has a new telescope, and I was thinking that after the meteor shower, we could watch Mrs. Feldman shower. And you call yourself a scientist. Hello? Hi, Francis! Welcome home! Too old to hug your mom? Mom, I've been waiting at the bus station for three hours. Why didn't anybody come to pick me up? What? I sent your father. Oh, Francis, I'm sorry. He's battling his arch enemy. What, the squirrel's back? No, it's a human this time. Francis! Hey! Did you guys tear it up on Halloween? Oh, yeah, we were out of control. Kids are running, people are screaming, babies are crying. We went trick-or-treating. It just didn't feel right without you. I had fun. Shut up, Dewey. Couldn't you have gotten in trouble after Halloween? Guys, I'm sorry. I know I let you down, but I really didn't have a choice. I mean, the Commandant's fake leg was just lying there in the closet, begging for a novelty bumper sticker. It was a snap decision, but I really think I did the right thing. That's all right. There's always next year. Well, why do we have to wait a year? Guys, Halloween isn't a date on the calendar. Yeah, it is. It's the 31st. No. Halloween is in your hearts. Every time a little kid cries in fear, that's Halloween. Every time something repulsive ends up in a mailbox, that is Halloween. As long as you carry the spirit of destruction and vandalism in your hearts, every day is Halloween. No, look, it is the 31st. Men, we are going to have Halloween this weekend. Boys, the time has come. You're about to see the device that will change the face of Halloween forever. Behold. That's not a flying chocolate maker. This is just a bunch of tubes. Trust me. I do trust you, but I expected something a little more. Oh my god, will this work? Absolutely. What? What is it? It looks like an incredibly powerful slingshot. A slingshot capable of hurling objects over a distance of two city blocks. Picture yourself. You're walking down the street, you're minding your own business, when all of a sudden, BAM! You're hit by a 10-pound balloon filled with shaving cream, paint, or any number of foul-smelling liquids. And you never, ever know who did it. It's the perfect weapon. Reese, are you crying? No. OK, we got eggs, shaving cream, water balloons. I don't know, I'm just not feeling it. These eggs are pretty rotten. Yeah, I know, but it's all just so standard. I mean, we have a whole new breed of weapon here. We need to live up to that. We need to start thinking outside the box. Let's go through this one more time. Malcolm, what's your job? Aimer. Reese? Loader. Dewey? What do you do if you see mom and dad coming? Ah! Excellent. Where'd they go anyway? 